Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Keyboard Kings. In this video, we're going to review the popular keyboard, mechanical keyboard, the Keytron K4. So the Keytron K4 is a really popular keyboard and I can see why I, so far since I've got this keyboard. I mean it's one of my favorite keyboards so far. The Keytron K4 is a 96% keyboard which is similar to the 100% keyboard. It's got pretty much all the same keys, it's just more compact and smushed together. For example the arrow keys are not separated, there's usually on other keyboards there's a little bit of spacing around the arrow keys. This one it's not, it's all combined, it's just all, it's all just together compared to 100% keyboard where it's all so you see there's a bunch of spacing all over the place on, on this keyboard this one the Keytron there's no space it's all together like that and if you're wondering what that other keyboard was that's my main keyboard that I bought for myself for Christmas it's the GMMK I got the TKL version so I'll leave a card up there where I reviewed this keyboard and I also did a little building montage of me building it. That's the first keyboard I've ever built. It was it was really easy though because it was a uh, hot swappable keyboard so you don't have to solder your own switches you just kind of just put everything together but if you want to see that video there it is. Anyways back to the Keytron. You can get it in either plastic or aluminum. I got the plastic version. The aluminum is a little bit higher quality. It's also a little bit more expensive. This is the one that I found on Amazon which was they only had the plastic version on Amazon so I'm not sure if they've added the aluminum version yet or not but either way both of them this it's a high, even though it's plastic it's still high quality so you really there's really no need to buy the aluminum unless you prefer it's it's also more heavy so if you have to travel with it you're not going to want to have to carry around an aluminum keyboard and just looking at it like doing this there's there's no flex at all some of the other keyboards i've showed you they kind of have a little bit of bend because those keyboards are cheap membrane keyboards some of them 20 bucks 30 bucks this is a high more of a high-end keyboard so you really get what you pay for here there's no flex at all nothing this is a very well built sturdy keyboard the keycaps on this keyboard are also very high quality as well super smooth the legends the imprints are flush with the keycaps there's no they're not you know how some of the cheap keyboards the imprints are raised up a little bit you can feel it that's not the way it is with this keyboard it's super flat and smooth very comfortable to type in the the curve to the keycaps allow your fingers to be allows your fingers to fit perfectly on top of the key keycaps and it just it feels really good when you're typing on this keyboard the keycaps are one of my favorite keycaps to type on so far it's pretty similar to the gmmk honestly now that i'm feeling both of them the gmmk keycaps have a little bit more texture these ones are like these ones are super smooth there's no texture at all all on the top of these keycaps just smooth which could be a bad thing if you're someone that likes the texture for like grip or something on your fingers this one feels like if you got if your fingers got a little sweaty or something it feels like they might slide around a lot that's something to keep in mind so there's a few different choices that you can get for switches on the Keytron K4 the one that I'm going to link to down in the description down below the one that I got from Amazon it uses a Gateron brown switch I can't remember if you can if there's multiple choices I know this keyboard works with other switches I think you can get you can use any Gateron switches and I'm pretty sure cherry switches should work as well so I got the one with the Gateron brown switches just because I've never tried them before and I'm gonna leave a short demonstration of me typing on this keyboard my opinion it's very similar to the Gateron Reds which is what I got on my GMMK it's just slightly louder so if you like the click sound but you don't like as clicky as like a Cherry MX Blue then you might actually like these switches I personally prefer the 
you get on reds but the browns are a close second it's got a nice tactile bump it just feels really good to type on but one of the great features that makes this keyboard super unique is the fact that it can be used both wirelessly and wired so it has a little switch on the side if you want to switch it from wireless or cable which is great so if the keyboard dies on you or it's losing its battery you can easily just plug it on switch it to cable mode and keep using it. it also has another switch next to it where you can switch it from windows and android to mac and os so it works for both windows and android and it also works for mac which is great and then on the same side is where you put the power cable so everything is all on one side so just real quick we'll just go over some of the great features of this keyboard so like i said it's durable and strong and it has either the strong high quality plastic or the aluminum frame it's also super compact so if you have a small desk or a small work area it can fit all the keys of a full keyboard into a small tight design making it a 96 percent keyboard it also has the gateron switches which are really great switches they're a close competitor to the cherry mx switches some people say they're worse some people say they're better a lot of people are saying the red switch is a lot better than cherry's red switch and as far as the brown switch i can't really say because i haven't tried the cherry mx brown but i can tell you right now that the gadron browns are amazing so if the cherry browns are better then i can't even imagine what that would be like because yeah like i said the, the gadron browns just feel great and then another awesome feature on this keyboard is that you can connect up to three devices so you can have this synced up to your phone, your computer, or whatever you want, up to three devices at the same time, which is, I don't know how many other keyboards have that option, but that's, in my opinion, that's an awesome feature to have, especially if you have, yeah, if you have multiple devices, then it just makes it super easy to go from one to the other to the other. For me, I'm not in a situation where that's really useful, but I know there's a lot of situations where somebody would want something like that. So if that's something that interests you, then this would definitely be a good keyboard for you. One thing this keyboard does lack is dedicated media keys, which is understandable being that this they're trying to go for the super compact keyboard. You're not really going to have room to fit dedicated multimedia keys. However, it does have all the keys you need on the function row. You just have to hold the function button and then you have play, fast forward, volume up, volume down. You have all the keys you want. You just have to hold the function key at the same time you're good to go but yeah it is a bummer that it doesn't have the dedicated keys because that's something that I like to have on my keyboards but it's a sacrifice you have to make it's a sacrifice I also made when I got the GMMK TKL it's just a sacrifice you have to make if you want that compactness but I think it's worth it I'd rather have a compact keyboard than dedicated keys so a few of the problems that this keyboard faces so as far as I'm aware this keyboard has no programmability unless there's some sort of third-party software you can't change the key bindings you can't set up macros that's one thing that I love I keep referring to the GMMK because it's the keyboard I just got recently the GMMK has awesome software where you can set up custom macros for any key on the keyboard unfortunately this one doesn't have anything like that so if that's something you need then you're gonna want to look at a different keyboard there's also no customization software so similar to you can't set up macros there's no software if you wanted to change the RGB or anything like that so pretty much what it comes with is what you get unlike other ones like I said the GMMK or the Razer the Logitech they all have their own software dedicated to the keyboard to make all the changes you want unfortunately as far as I'm aware the Keytron doesn't have such a software and like I mentioned previously another demerit another problem no dedicated media keys which to some people it doesn't really matter you just hold the function key and you got what you need and there's also no ergonomic palm rest but that's pretty standard for a compact keyboard you're it's as minimalistic as possible so if that's something that you want you can get a separate palm rest if that's something you want or if you don't really care about it then then that doesn't really matter to you anyways so looking at it by itself it looks like a great keyboard like i've said but if you compared it to say like the k6 the k6 does have more features and i also have a article comparing the K2 and the K4 and the K6, comparing all four of those, all three, three or four of those keyboards to see what exactly the differences are. But the K6 has more features, but it also is a different shape. I can't remember, can't remember if that was the 60% keyboard. You have to read the article, but it just depends what you're into because this one's the 96%, and then the other keyboards are they, they have a they have a TKL version, I believe and a 60% keyboard, so it all depends on what size keyboard you have. So, But I really like the shape of this keyboard from Keytron. I've never had a 96% keyboard, that's why I went with this one. It's really up to you what you prefer, you'll have to look into it. They're all great keyboards. So looking at some frequently asked questions about the Keytron, so one of the big questions a lot of people were asking is how do you print how do you print the screen on the K4, so like take a screenshot. Okay, so some people were asking how you print the screen. So basically what I think they're asking is how you, at first I thought they were asking how you take a screenshot of the screen, but I think what they mean is how you 
actually print the screen what's on the screen so to do that you just press the control button and the P button at the same time and it should pop up a window for you to print the screen how do you charge the Keytron K4 you simply just plug the USB-C cable in and then plug it into your computer and it should start charging you could also plug it into the wall if you wanted to but the benefit of this keyboard is that it's got the switch on the side to turn it into a wired keyboard so you can plug it in and have it charging and also use it as like it was a wired computer as if it was a wired keyboard how do you pair the k4 keyboard so to pair your keytron k4 keyboard you're going to first have to switch it into pairing mode and then you're going to hold the function key and the f1 key and hold it long enough like five seconds then when you release it the one button will be flashing if you want to switch because you can have up to three devices connected at once so if you want to switch to other devices you'll press one two or three so if you want to pair something on layer two then you'll do the function and the two button and then you'll hold function and the f1 key for about five seconds let it go it'll start blinking and then you can go ahead and pair your device and then it's super easy to switch between devices you just hold the function key and then one two or three and it'll switch to device one two or three depending on how you have it set up it's pretty easy how do you switch between devices on the Keytron K4 like I said you just hold once you have it all set up and paired on either number one number two or number three then to switch it you just simply hold function you press the one the two or the three and that's how you quickly switch which device you are paired with is the Keytron K4 good for gaming pretty much any mechanical keyboard is going to be great for gaming so yes I think the Keytron K4 is great for gaming however the Gateron Brown switches those are good those are good but if I was getting a keyboard that I wanted to specifically use for gaming, I would go for the Gateron Red Switches. So if that's not an option on Amazon, you can easily buy them separately and easily replace them because the Katron K4 is a hot swappable keyboard. But yeah, I would, personally I would just prefer the Red Switches, but the Brown Switches are a close second. So to sum it up, yeah, I think it's a great keyboard for gaming. So in conclusion, I think that this is a great keyboard, especially if you're into the compact design. 96%, it's awesome. It can be both wired or wireless, so you can use it while it's charging. It can connect up to three devices. It's high quality build. There's really nothing to hate about this keyboard. It's an awesome keyboard. So if you were looking at this keyboard and you're wondering if you, whether or not you should get it, I definitely think you should try it out. And if you get it on Amazon, what's great about that is hassle-free returns. So you can try it out. If you don't like it, you can return it within 30 days. Not really much to lose there. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link in the description of the Katron K4 that I got from Amazon, where you can check it out and get it too. It will be an affiliate link, so I'll earn a small commission at no cost to you if you do that i would greatly appreciate it anyways if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and if you haven't yet please subscribe to this channel so you can see future videos when i post them i'll see you on the next video thanks